What is going on, you lot? Welcome to the video. We are currently, oh, she's in her pajamas still. We're just going through all the pictures and we've just put a load on Facebook. We've selected like 170 out of like 1,700, right? Yeah, because everyone wants to see them. Um... And we've just put a select few on there and then um, I think we're going to get proper prints of like the ones that we really, really like. But we found it really hard, didn't we? Because there was a lot that we wanted to, to keep private. Yeah. You don't just want to put like literally 1700 pictures of your wedding on there when everything, my it's life filmed. is so on the, on the web anyway and Aisha's life is so on the web anyway. So I feel like the video gave a really good insight of our wedding. Like that was... Perfect. Yeah, perfect. And then the, the photos are just that little bit more... I don't know. Don't know what it is. It's that thing we're holding on to, I suppose. <laughs> Guys, I'm just str scr <laughs> scrolling through all your comments on my latest video and you're, you lot are saying about the low sugar, uh, the low fat products have higher sugar in. I get that. I get that totally. The mayo isn't bad at all. It doesn't have sugar in pretty much hardly. And then the, the salad cream, I'm not sure. I'll have a look at that one. But thank you for your comments and your worries and concerns about that. What do you think about the diet, Ice? There's so many opinions out there. It's like, well, I'd rather you just enjoy what you like and... I don't know, it's really difficult. I get it. It's a balance, isn't it? It's a balance between and... living and also living smartly. I think that's what you've got to remember about everything. Everything is a balance. So my ankle seems to be really swollen at the minute. I think it's because yesterday we had a really, really relaxed sitting down day and I was in flip-flops all day, so I'm hoping... I'm at risk of lymphedemia anyway, so it probably didn't help the fact that I did that yesterday. So I just did a quick 10 minutes on the bike, really light, and now I'm gonna do some shoulders get that pump going, get that function in the head going, Just both my arms equally. So good workout overall, got a good sweat on, hopefully that will flush out the fluid in my um, in my ankles, my cankles, or my thankles right now. I mean, every day you get different side effects, so you can't let it, you can't let it start your day like shit because swollen ankles, yeah, whatever they look horrendous, cankles. Um, but you just got to get over it. You got to think, right? I need to go and do some exercise to kind of flush the fluid through because it's obviously lymphedema. It's a high side effect if that makes sense on this treatment so niggles i've got pain in my left in my right hand side of the chest but you just think okay i might pull the muscle while i mention it to the doctors you just can't let all these side effects get your day down i can't personally anyway i, I can't let it defeat me i i should still at the garden center with her sister and her dad she's gone absolutely haywire on gardening she's obsessed with gardening so let's see what she bought to make the garden look good i think it's because we know that we're not going on holiday this year we know that we're not got anything to look forward to in terms of like summer anywhere else so we want to make the garden a really nice place because we're always out there in the summer um and we have a lot of barbecue so i think that's really it really means a lot to her that we make it look nice and comfortable yeah bless her oh have you gone mad yeah go and look on the table so i let her go to the garden center and she comes back with all this. Jesus Christ. I'm one of these roots as much as we can. <laughs> You're gonna get in trouble with their doors open. They like me over there. So we're all getting involved with a bit of gardening. It's pretty hot. I'm gonna go and put some sun cream on actually. So we've got all these veg patch down here. What you got? Talk us through it. Sweet corn. Yeah. Onion, yeah. Peas, yeah. Carrots, mm -hmm. your favourite lavender. Anyone who doesn't know, I hate lavender. Strawberries, but we've got three. Still, obviously, got a lot of work to do, but it looks really cool. Aish is happy, so. Happy Aish? She's oh no, she's not done down there yet. I mean, the garden does look pretty goddamn amazing. She's done really, really well. I think this is her way of releasing stress gardening fires and I think we all need a way of releasing stress mine is obviously clear and clear the gym 
and I just found hers, I think. So what's going on your lot? It is Monday morning. I'm feeling a bit groggy today, actually. Not gonna lie, it took me ages to get out of bed. Yesterday I had those swollen ankles. They seem to have gone down. Gone down a bit, anyway. And I've got this pain underneath on the right-hand side, which is worrying because I have got liver cancer and that could, have, could mean it is growing. So I'm gonna bring that up when we go to the doctor tomorrow. And I also need to get some meds. I mean, really, I've got a lot of things to worry about, but I just need to not worry and wait to see what doctors say, because, it's like, it's, it's weird. Can he explain it? But I can explain how hungry I am. I'm effing starving. So annoyingly, my ankles are still actually quite fat. So that didn't work yesterday. So uh, I've mentioned it to the doctors tomorrow and they're gonna check my liver, uh, do my bloods and see what this is about my ankles. Yeah. Another trip to the doctors. Oh. Oh. My vlogs are getting very wordy wordy but I feel like at the minute all I need to do is talk I've got a lot on my mind basically I want to get this pain here I, I want to know what it is so tomorrow we're gonna go to the doctors and we're gonna say like, well I've already, I've already told the nurse what the problem is I've got swelling in my ankles which is also a sign of liver problems um, so I, I'm I'm not working myself up about it but I just am a bit anxious about it but everything else is going really well like my face feeling good there's no more neurological symptoms to say that my brain tumors are growing which is absolutely amazing so if any if anything's going to kill me quick i think it'll be the brain tumors personally um so the fact that that's not getting worse is amazing and i've got to look at the silver linings like that is great isn't it i really hope you're not getting the impression that i'm not enthusiastic because i love vlogging i just i just love it Oh, by the way, Eliza, a subscriber came out from Bobby, Bobby Brown early when I was walking through uh, the Glades, which is like the supermarket near uh, the mall, the shopping mall near our house. Uh, thanks for coming out and saying hi. That was really nice. It made, made, made my day. I'm going to start a new vlog um, when we go to the doctors tomorrow, see what they say. I've got a funny feeling they might give me an ultrasound or something on the liver or, or I don't know, something to... My bloods were fine, so... And I'm going to have bloods again. I have got compression socks on. These are like flying socks, which you use have to wear when I go on the plane because obviously I'm really prone to lymphedema. The fact that I haven't had it is great, but yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna eat my kiwis, chill out. I think me and Aisha are going for Nando's with Jesse, which is Aisha's best mate tonight. So yeah, looking forward to it. <laughs> 